light and peace to you this evening in Jesus Christ our Lord. And welcome to the Church of St Andrew and St Paul here in downtown Montreal. Welcome also to our brief midweek reflective service entitled Sound of Songs and Hope. A brief verse from 2 Corinthians chapter 4. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ our Lord, and ourselves as your servants in Jesus. For God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord, the lamp of grace which never fails, that it may burn in us and shed its light on those around us, and that by its brightness we may have a vision of that holy city where dwells the true and never failing light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We light our candle to remember that we are not alone in darkness, that Christ is with us. Let us pray. Almighty God, when we consider what you have done for us, we are filled with awe and wonder because you sent your Son to save us. You do not leave us in the dark, but send the light of Christ to guide us in the ways of grace and truth. You give us your living word, a compassionate community, the bread of heaven and the prayers of the faithful. We lack nothing and therefore we will fear no evil. We ask that you guide and comfort us. And while we lament our inability to be together in church, we rejoice in the ability to praise you no matter where we are through the technology that we have. And knowing that you give us the gift of prayer, and the responsibility to care for each other, we lift up to you those who feel possibly as if they have been in the valley of darkness for far too long. Please bring comfort to the brokenhearted and the grief-stricken. Grant peace to those afflicted with anxiety. Heal the sick and strengthen all of those doing essential work. Protect them, ease their fears, and those of the ones who love them. God, we ask that you give wisdom and discernment just now to people in positions of authority as they discern when and how to open up society once again and as they also figure out economic relief packages for so many people. And help us all to work for the common good and to look to the interests of others so that all may have the abundant life that Christ came to give us. Dear God, you call each of us by name. You show us where to go and how to serve. You are the gate through which our comings and goings gain purpose and participate in your present and coming kingdom. And as we continue to wrestle with the stress of this season, with the uncertainty and the suffering of this pandemic. Lead us in the ways of righteousness. Make us brave in our kindness. 
tireless in our work for you, humble in our walk with you. Do not let us grow weary of doing good. And as we come together across time and space with the whole company of the saints, we seek to reflect your love, sharing with one another, supporting the weak, tending to the vulnerable, knowing that we are reconciled and saved through the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, who teaches us all to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <laughs>